This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. In today's episode we're going to be creating first person interaction system. So for this tutorial I'm uh, in my first person map and the uh, first thing we want to do is we will go create new folder called it blueprint and inside of the blueprint we're going to create a blueprint interface and call it BPI interact so what this does uh, is basically it's gonna allow us to communicate with our blueprints much easier so we don't have to cast to everything and the um, function name is gonna be interact and you can make input player and that's gonna be our first person character or whatever the uh, character you have first person car object reference and compile and save here we cannot do anything okay so the second thing we want to do is we will go to the first person if you are using first person template just follow this but just go to your inputs actions and create new input that's gonna be called EA interact so input action EI interact and now you need to add it to the IMC default so just select EA interact and put the uh, hotkey that you want I will put E because it's natural for me okay so now we created input for interacting but now we need to use it somehow so I will go to the first person blueprints BP first person and I will create a, a action that EA interact does so when I press E I want to fire a line trace by channel and basically what line, tra line trace does is it literally shoots the uh, really line in front of you like the green line and whatever this line uh, hits it will return us the value and the uh, hit so what we want to do here is this is how we are gonna calculate our line so first we need our first person camera because th this is our eyes in first person we will get world location and we can just simply put it to the start but how we create the end line is we get forward vector and we will multiply it we will press right click here and convert it to float and this is go gonna be promoted to variable and we're gonna call it interaction length if we compile now we can set the size I will set it for 300 for example you can tweak it but if you don't want to make it a uh, variable but literal there is no reason to not make it variable you can just uh, type make literal float and just put a uh, hard code number but I don't like doing that so we're gonna do it with the variables so out of the multiply we're gonna press add and connect like this and the top one connect to the world location and that's our end location basically just like that so now I will draw the book type for one frame and if we go ahead and test it out oh, you will see that we're gonna fire the green line but it just disappears we will set for duration we're gonna set a uh, hit uh, we're gonna fire the red line okay and as you can see it works but this red line does nothing right now because out of the return value we're gonna get a branch so we're gonna check if we hit anything and out of hit actor I'm gonna break hit result expand it like this and I'm gonna simply out of hit actor fire on interact interact sorry it was interact and this is our interaction system player is gonna be self 
because we are in the pp first person character blueprint so this will work fine but we don't have anything to interact with because now if i go ahead yes i'm shooting and there is a hit uh, register uh, hit registration but nothing happens because now that we made this we will go where we created interface this is interface and i'm going to create actors folder this is very messy of course in your project you should uh, take some time to make it better you know documentation and stuff um, and the folder um, hierarchy but let's go ahead and get into the actors and this class is going to be uh, it's going to be actor of course blueprint actor but the name is going to be bp base interact act and here we can set it to the viewport to be a little cube let's lock the xyz and set it 0.3 and on event graph um, we're gonna go to the class settings we're gonna add bpi interact interface and because we did that we're gonna get this interface here and if we double click it now we have this interact event that's basically gonna fire whatever is said here so all of this is said here and this this node is gonna trigger this one so when we interact with something and it's interactable we're gonna fire it okay so now from here i'm gonna print string i am test cube one like this so now actually let's uh, not do it here so just make it uh, so it's uh, bpi interact and now because you have this bp base interact actor you can just create a child bp item one so in the future you can just go ahead and you already have in uh, implement interact because it's a child and from here um, I will just print string and item one and now I'm gonna create a child of it again of the base interact and call it bp item two and to show you how easy it is to create new actors now I will just print string item two so you see that it works so now if I go to my map and I bring these actors to life like this and like this and I click play you will see in the top left corner item 1, item 2, item 1, item 2, item 1, item 2, item 1, item 2 so you see it's very easy in the next tutorial we're gonna be uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a crosshair and how to create interaction uh, dot so when you interact with something it's going to show you the icon so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye